do anything but let it produce joy. Welcome viewers once again to the Get It Hot Show, where trending issues are served hot, 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 and hot. I'm your lawyer host, Janela. The show is proudly brought to you by Access Media Institute and Alice Beauty Parlor. My hair and makeover is by Alice Beauty Parlor. Contact them on 0532 394 056. 0532 394 056. A quick breather. We'll be right back. Salut, bonjour à tous. I'm Erika Josi, a proud former student of Arches Media Institute. Thanks to Arches Media, I achieved my goals and my dreams have come true. And today, I'm working as a journalist with the Pan African TV, Africa News. To you who have always dreamt of becoming a great journalist, I will recommend to you only one school and the best one, Arches Media Institute. With more than eight years of experience in training journalists from several countries, including Congo, Gabon, Kenya, and many more, Arches Media is the private media school you can really trust. Arches Media is located in Accra, Ghana. You can call them to the number below your screen. Arches Media, integrity with professionalism. Thanks for staying on. We are live on the Get It Hot show where trending issues are saved. Hot, 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 and hot. I'm Janela. Trending today. Following the Inspector General of Police, Dr. Dampari's time with the ad hoc committee of parliament over the league tape to get him out of office, a UK lawyer has stated that he is a good actor. The lawyer, known as Kofi Okwari Hagan, took to social media to share his thoughts about the process. The claim in the leak recording and the subsequent development, according to IGP Dampari in a hearing, before the committee have brought a lot of pain to his family and loved ones. The hearing comes after the former Director General of the Ghana Police Service, COP Mensah stated that the low morale in the Ghana Police Service as a result of the majority employees being dissatisfied with the Inspector General of Police Management style. The IGP was allegedly the one who gave the go-ahead of the tape to be recorded and leaked. However, when it was Dan Paris then to speak at the committee hearing on Tuesday 12 September, he said the accusations lacked any supporting documentation. But after monitoring the IGP's appearance before the committee, lawyer Opari believes the IGP is a better actor than award-winning actor Van Vika. Moving on to our next trending story for the day, Ghanaian private legal practitioner, lawyer Maurice Ampau, has declared his intention to leave Ghana should former President John Dramani Mahama emerge victorious in the 2024 presidential election. In an interview on Kumasi-based Angel FM on Monday, September 10, 2023, Ampau expressed his strong aversion to the idea of Mahama returning to power citing his experience during Mohammed's presidency from 2012 to 2016 as the basis for his decision. He firmly stated his resolve to leave the country if Mahama were to win the election, emphasizing his preference for living in neighboring Togo over being governed by Mahama once more. Ampau's objection to Mohammed's potential presidency stem his belief that Mohammed's previous term in office did not yield the desired result for Ghana. In another trending story for the day, popular Hollywood actress Moyo Lawal has finally broken silence after her bedroom tapes surfaced on various social media platforms just a few hours ago. In the trending video, the curvaceous actress can be seen enjoying intimacy with her bearded lover who recorded the whole bedroom encounter with the full consent of the actress. Following the leak, the actress has taken to her Instagram page to speak. In the trending video, she revealed that her various partners, both past and present, know her views on matters concerning intimacy. According to her, the last thing anyone can use to drag her down or dent her career is the bedroom tape. Let's take a look at the video. So, about this matter, right, I wanted to keep quiet, you know, because I'm not a fighter, 
Neither do I know how to insult. However, I've made way too many sacrifices. Like, I said no to too many things in my life. Like, like even people who have dated me, people who have tried to date me on this app, they know how I am when it comes to sex matters. So the last thing you can try to use to drag me down is sex. So our last trending story for the day, Naira Mali, boss of Malian's record, had been in the news since the death of Mubarak. A former signer broke out on Tuesday, 12 September. In the wake of those speakers, a video has surfaced that shows fans of Mubarak men mounting and causing havoc at Naira Mali's residence at Lekki in Nigeria. The video also showed a section of the residence being set on fire with fans chanting and seeking fans said Amit Imo's death. Mobad was signed to the Malin's record, but due to certain misunderstanding between his boss and himself, he fought to leave the label and that was the beginning of his nightmare. Video surfacing after his demise shows how he was constantly molested, threatened, beaten and stalled throughout his final days. Fingers have been pointed to Naira Mali right after the news broke out due to the bad blood the two had and also due to statements Mohab made while he was alive, asserting that Naira Mali should be held responsible should anything happen to him. That's all for today on the Get It Hush show right here on TVP TV. I remain your lawyer host, Jenny Love. The show was proudly brought to you by HS Media Institute and Alice Beauty Palo. If today is your first time coming across my videos, kindly subscribe, comment, like, and share. Today's special birthday mention goes to Elvis Kwaukume inside Lashibi, aka Bore, aka the baddest drama. May the good Lord bless and enlarge your territory beyond measures. Enjoy your special day, brother.